there are 319 parcels in Old Wood Valley, one unbuilt lot. And there's 60, right now, there are 63 rentals, seven are vacant and for sale. I just want to know how, how many people are actually members of the HOA. 85. It's voluntary, it's not a mandatory uh, organization, so people, so there are 248 owner occupied houses, so of those 248, only 85. And did you have a meeting about this specifically? No, we did not. Okay, so the, 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 the opposition letter that was written from the board is coming from the viewpoint of the board only. It was not a membership vote. That's the question. No, we did not place it out to all the members. The, the, the board members represent all the members, and they got information from their neighbors, other people. Um, we've got a moderately complex structure uh, where we uh, assign individuals uh, to blocks within the neighborhood. They're called block captains. They solicit information, but it was not a formal vote. So I can tell you that, you know, 247 out of 248 voted for it. Is that okay? Any other questions and discussions before we call the question? Oh, any contact to your office, but with all these people here, I can't see that that would not be a... Other than the letters, we get Okay. Can I get a motion on this request? I'm going to go. Okay. I make a motion to grant the request. Um, with the following additions. Um, that Mr. Connor puts the fence back between him and his neighbor to the north, and he plants significant buffering vegetation on the west and the south side, so the open side and the metal side, so that the neighbors are protected from looking at that thing, something like Leland cypress that will grow nice, big, and bushy. Um, and that he have a professional drainage person come and look at his backyard and see how we can make the drainage be right down the line. Okay. I have a motion, Mr. Portland, to grant the request as presented with stipulations that the fence go up on the northern side, the vegetative buffer be placed on the western side, and for clarification, when you say the southern, you're talking about the southern side of the slab, right. not the southern side of the property. Right, the southern side of the slab, so they don't have to look at the metal side of the building. Okay. All right. You have that motion. Plus, you have a professional drainage person yeah. come look at the yeah. back. You can talk to the city engineer. Okay. Raymond, we got a motion on the floor. I was trying to get clarification on the motion. Okay. What do you mean by drainage? Talk to the city engineer to see if you exaggerated the situation or whether this is that you did not, in effect, make the flow worse. Okay, thank you. Right. I have a motion on the floor. I tried to restate it as best I can. You satisfied me? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a motion on the floor from Ms. Portman. Do I have a second? I have a second and motion. I have a second on the floor. All in favor of this. Portman's motion, please raise a hand and hold. Four, five. Okay, we have a vote, and you are voting opposition? Yes. I have a vote of five to one. And Raymond, please try to work with them, try to do something as best you can. Uh, talk to the city engineer about the water, see if what he's got to say about. You think it can be done or how to do it? Thank you. Thank you. All right. The next case that we have is application 2016 06, Charles Bennett, 2891 Green Meadow Drive, Val This is a request from Mr. Charles Bennett for a yard setback variance. The house is located on about half an acre at 2891 Green Meadow Drive in R15 Zoning District. 
Earlier this year, Mr. Bennett, the applicant, purchased a permit to place a screen-in enclosed order room, so to speak, around his swimming pool. In the process of writing a permit, keep in mind that when they purchase a permit for an addition, they come to the zoning office, get a zoning approval letter, which states what the setbacks are, take that down to the permits office, give them that zoning approval letter, and the setbacks are placed on the permit card. Somehow the, there was a mistake made on the permit card and the setbacks were inadvertently flipped. So when the addition was built, the rear yard setback was not quite right. Instead of the required 25 feet, the rear yard setback, or the rear yard currently between the addition and the property line, instead of 25 feet, the addition is 15.87 feet from the property line. So the applicant is asking for a variance of about 9.13 feet. As you can see, the rear yard, there is an encroachment, and there are, there's a fence in the backyard, there are shrubs planted along the rear yard setback, or rear yard property. Um, you can see a little bit of the addition, and there are the adjacent property. Um, staff did review the request. We do understand that there were some technical difficulties that, that brought us here. Unfortunately, we didn't find any hardship that would merit that for the evening or the variance. So staff are giving them. Okay. Uh, at this point, the side yard is okay. It is only the right. rear yard. Correct. Okay. And have a question? Yes. I have a question. You said, I understood that there was a mistake on the permit card, but right. you said that the, the setbacks were flipped right. on the permit card. Right. So the setbacks were supposed to have been, I'm sorry, what, what were they supposed to have been? 25 feet on the rear, and the side is 10. So if they were flipped, it was supposed to, it, on the card, it would have been 25 on the side. Right. And, and 10 on the back. Right. So even if he had followed what was on the card, he would not have met the setback. We would be dealing with a setback for the side yard. Right? Because he's within 10 feet on the side yard. Do you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> the side yards, uh, the, the building's within 10 feet, but if it was flipped on the card and it was shown at 20 feet, it was shown at 25, he would have been beyond that set by. I see where you're, where you're going. Yes, sir. So either way, he was all, he was beyond the set by. He yes, was sir. incorrect of the car. Yes, sir. Okay. I just want to make sure I understood that that I was... I had to think about that. Right. Yes, okay. All right. Any other questions? Yes, sir. How, how much then is he over? Like, is from he, what from what should be. He's okay on the side. So that's 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 not an issue. The rear yard he is supposed to be twenty five feet. He is fifteen point eight seven feet away from the rear yard property the rear parking line. He is nine point one three feet over. Into the setback. Okay, so to the point that was just made the building that was just constructed did not go in as far over as what the permit incorrectly said that they could. Correct. He could have gone, according to the permit card, he could have gone 10 feet away from the rear apartment. But he would have been 25 feet off the side. Right. And he's 10.3 feet off the side. Yes. The 10 foot side yard, he has met now. Right, right. But if he was following the car, he should have been 25 feet off. It's not like he didn't follow the car, didn't follow it all. And the, when the zoning approval letter was given, the letter from zoning was correct. Yes, ma'am. That's the part of your. And these were gone over with 
contractor had his contractor come to our office to get that. And Alex, who's our zoning technician, did go over the zoning approval letter, explain the setbacks to the gentleman who then went and purchased the property. So he was aware of what was said. Which a contractor should know anyway. Any other questions or discussion?
An accessory structure can be what distance from the property? It, it has to be at least 10 feet. At least 10 feet. So the enclosure that he's made for the pool, if it isn't hooked to the house, it's an accessory structure? Mm -hmm. it, it is, is, it is, it is, is a, a house. Yes, okay. it is attached to the house. Okay. If you disconnected it from the house, it would become an accessory structure. Can you disconnect it from the house? Good. We might have some technical issues with that. If it's, a, if it's an accessory building, we have a difference. Zoning has a difference between an accessory building and an accessory structure. Both have to be, <laughs> both have to be at least 10 feet away from the side and the rear property lines. An accessory building enclosed on all four sides has to be at least 15 feet away from the house. Oh.
not quite a typical <laughs> It was a good one to cut your teeth on, okay? <laughs> <laughs> any new business, any old business, anything we need to talk about? Yes, sir. I would like to say that the past few months I've been hearing about these setbacks and the permits and the permit clerks. Now what we have done is we're not looking at the, the inspectors aren't looking at the permit cards anymore. When when these guys give us the zoning approval letter, we're scanning that, we're putting it in with the documents, so when the inspector goes out there that inspector is looking at the documents from the actual zoning approval letter and it will say what the setbacks are. So, I'm trying to take it. I'm really tired of hearing this. And I, I didn't realize that that change had taken effect. I will give our inspectors credit. We got a call last week with, from one of the inspectors who was out on the job with a question about the setbacks. And I didn't realize that that happened. Yeah, it, it took place a couple weeks ago. Right. And in conjunction with that, that is now cross-referenced to the approval letter so the green card has the right numbers in the right places? I don't even care what the green card has because I told the inspector you're going to the zoning approval letter, not the green card. Good enough. Good enough. There's no more mistakes. Because there's a variance that is, that is put in that zoning approval letter and that new document is put in. All right. Well, well that the builder might go off what's on the green card. You know what? I, I'm just doing what the inspectors are saying. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have them. We're going to do our job. I don't like these mistakes that are, that are, that are caught. Um, you know, that's where we're at. With that. Is there a reason the setbacks have to be on the permit card? Yes, because the inspectors are being tasked with, with looking at the setbacks, even though it's a zoning issue, it's not a building code issue. But since they're out there doing the inspection, they're tasked with doing that. So we require that the property lines be. be Marked, and now the inspectors are looking at that. So the only way they could look at it before is if it was on the permit card. Right, but you, you said you're now giving them the other information. Right? right, now the documents are being scanned, and then we have laptops so, or tablets, so when the documents are scanned, then on the, on the job site, they bring up the tablet, and you can see that actual zoning approval letter. So if there's a variance, that new approval letter goes in there and gets that address. So we should have the latest current up-to-date information on setbacks because you know in Hay Hire it's biking from the center line of the road. We had one last week. If it's a two car garage, it's a certain setback. Right. So it all depends. So that's why I want that zoning approval. Like you can't put it on the card. It's just it's too it's too it's too much. Uh, yeah I agree. I was just saying if, if there's a way to keep it off the card then then if, because you have the information of it's to check it by, yep. then that way there's no way for the builder to get confused. He's got to go by what was on the approval letter. Correct. Too. And that builder, when they go to purchase the permit, that builder gets a copy of that building approval letter also. Right. So they should be under the same criteria that we are. They are under the same criteria. I just don't like getting hit for right. mix-ups. In all honesty, I've been here eight years, and the technical, technical issues that I've been haven't happened. I mean, they don't happen that often. Anything else? We appreciate your help on the letter. Okay, we stand adjourned. Thank you very much. I reckon we got a lot of interviews with that. Did the best I could for the Valley people. Hey, you should put trees, like you should put six trees with that, six feet trees. I'm surprised you don't specify the species or the species. I know, I was saying. There's an issue. I'm thinking about making three conditions on the floor band. I'm not going to tell them what tree has to be decided. Well, that's not true. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to do that.